Hi everyone, Dr. Remy from Pain Free and Fit and Posture Size. Today, great exercise for those of you with neck degeneration, degenerative disc disease in the cervical spine, known as the seated shoulder depressor. Hope you enjoy. So if you've seen any of our videos before on cervical degenerative disc disease, you know that there are a couple of typical mechanical faults with the neck and the shoulder blades that aggravate perpetually the pain of cervical degenerative discs. One of the things we've talked about in the past and we're going to really focus on today is the shoulder blades tendency to come up. Many times because of poor postural habits, forward postures during the day, movement tendencies that aren't correct mechanically, we develop an excess tension and strength of our shoulder elevators, the ones that pull our shoulder blades up, at expense of the shoulder depressors that pull our shoulder blades down. This results in a habit that during the day, whether you're working out, whether you're moving during the day, we have excess shoulder blade movement up. That contracts the trapezius muscles, the levator scapular muscles that run from your shoulder blade into your neck. Those muscles when they're tight are constantly pulling and irritating those cervical degenerative discs. Many times that's the root cause of your pain. Even though people have cervical degenerative discs, not everybody has pain. So what's the difference? Many times it's mechanics and how much load or stress is going into there on a daily basis. So today we're going to show you an exercise to strengthen those muscles that pull our shoulder blades down. This can be done in a bunch of different ways, but we're going to show you in a seated position the seated shoulder depressor exercise. Now, before you do this or any exercise related to posture, body mechanics, make sure you understand what your unique body mechanics are. Your mechanics of your shoulder blade are different than mine. In my body, I have a tendency to elevate my left shoulder up more than my right. I'm going to plug that correction into this or any exercise as you should. If you don't know what your body mechanics are, go to either the painfree and fit or posturesize.com websites, take the free body analysis that's there, check out what your shoulder blade, cervical spine, neck mechanics are, so you can use that in all of your rehabilitative exercises. If you don't and you're just doing these exercises generically, you're much more likely to just strengthen the normal dysfunction of your shoulders and that's going to perpetuate your pain. So, once we get our shoulder blades in a neutral position, meaning they're not rounded, okay, again, depending on how much of rounding right to left you have, you're going to have to adjust that for your unique body. You're not tilted, meaning the shoulder blade doesn't have the bottom portion coming out, but is flat against the rib cage. And you're going to think about shoulder depression or pushing your shoulder blades down. You're going to sit on the edge of an exercise bench or your bed at home, scoop forward just like a tricep dip exercise, a bench tricep dip. And we're going to, without bending the elbows though, allow our upper body to sink down. Now as I'm doing this, I'm also protecting my neck by making sure I don't have forward head posture. I'm pulling my face towards the back of my head and keeping my chin slightly tucked under. From this start position, without changing my elbow position, I'm going to push straight up. Now you notice what I'm doing. I'm using the muscles under my shoulder blade to lower the shoulder blades, and as a result, my whole body comes up. I'm not trying to lift with my legs, I'm trying to relax my legs in this exercise. I hold for a moment, and I'm emphasizing if my left, let's say, shoulder blade goes up more than my right, I'm emphasizing the left side pushing down more than the right. As I'm holding this position, if I have a tendency to round, let's say, my right shoulder, I gotta keep extra emphasis on keeping that shoulder back so it's not rounding. After a few seconds, I again depress, as you depress or sink down, make sure you don't get that forward hip posture. That would irritate your neck. So you want to keep that head pulled back as you come down and then up again. Try to keep your hips back close to the bench. The hips go further away. It's more of a scapular retraction exercise like a row. So you want to try to keep your hips close in as you go. Again, think about what your posture is, your unique mechanics as you do this exercise. As you go along, what you're going to be noticing is that those muscles under your shoulder blade, you know, the latissimus muscles, other muscles, are contracting to bring that shoulder blade down. That's going to, over time, increase the strength for you to pull those shoulder blades down and have less of that tendency to go upwards. You can do this exercise at a dip apparatus. You can do it with cables overhead if you have a high cable machine. I'll just use this as an example. I can do this exercise from an overhead position, drawing my shoulder blades down without bending my elbows. Same thing, I want to increase tension downwards on my scapula or shoulder blade that moves up more. And of course, I want to keep that head in a neutral position so I'm not moving it forward. Shoulder depression, it's a key aspect for all of you that are involved with cervical degenerative disc disease that have elevated shoulder postures, which in my experience in 30 years of practice, 
Many, many of my patients, whether they're athletic or not, suffer from that. So plug that exercise in, see if it helps you. Again, if you like this uh, video, give me a thumbs up below. Let's share it with others with cervical degenerative disc disease. Questions or comments, write in. And again, if you're looking for a great program to analyze your body mechanics, figure out how you should improve your stability of your neck with stretches, stabilization exercises, strengthening exercises, balance exercises, learning how to create a program that brings you from where you are now up to the point of being active again without hurting your neck, check out our neck healing exercise program at the painfreeandfit.com website. I hope this video on cervical degenerative disc disease and shoulder depressor helps you with your chronic neck pain.